Hi, welcome back to Mary's Vegan Table, guys. Um, today, we're gonna make oyster mushrooms. We're gonna make, actually, we're gonna make it like uh, chicken parmesan. Um, instead of having it with a red sauce, I'm gonna make this with um, pasta that's in a, uh, I guess, a creamy lemony sauce. Let's see how this turns out, guys. So here I have the oyster mushrooms rinsed and dried. Just rinse them gently and um, put them in a strainer and just let them dry out like that. Here I have um, Italian breadcrumbs and here I have um, some flour, which uh, that's just plain flour. And here I'm going to make this into a batter and I seasoned it with Italian seasonings, salt, garlic powder and onion powder and a little bit of black pepper and that's two cups of I'm sorry that's one cup that's one cup of flour unbleached flour now you can mix this with water or you can mix it with milk I'm gonna use some milk because I had it and I don't want the milk going bad so I'm gonna use milk today I'm using of course um plant-based milk this one is happens to be almond milk Normally I would use oat milk. The store was out and I ended up having to get this almond milk. So we'll pour in as much as we need until it gets to the consistency that we're looking for. You know, you could also skip this step and just use um, aquafaba. And use the aquafaba, the, um, chick, the water from the can of chickpeas. I want it just a little thinner. Oh, this this is okay. Yeah, this is like a pancake batter, I guess. Oh, that should be okay. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is first, I'm just gonna um, dip the whole mus oyster mushroom into the dry flour. Then I'm gonna dip it into gently so it doesn't fall apart. I'm dipping it into dip it into the wet batter. Let let the excess um, wet batter drip off of it before you um, put it into the the breadcrumbs. Here, I'm gonna just coat this with the breadcrumbs. I'll try to keep one hand dry, don't forget, like I did. Okay, okay, so here I have a frying pan with um, about a tablespoon, maybe two tablespoons of olive oil in there. And I'm gonna add um, the oyster mushrooms. You can tell they already kind of look like chicken breast, don't they? So I'm gonna just put these in. Can you hear the sizzle? And just let them brown up. I have it on medium medium low. And I'm just gonna push it down gently just so it browns up in those crevices that it's not touching the oil. Okay. And this little guy over here. I think I'm gonna add a little more oil to this pan. If you see that the oil is like just not enough, just add a little more. Okay, I'm gonna turn this over gently.
Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Now I'm gonna do what I saw um Gaz Oakley do on one of his cooking shows. And he was making these. We put another frying pan on top to press them down so you get more of that media texture. So I'm just gonna weigh these down a little with this small skillet. We'll just flip it over again to um brown that up, cook that up too, because that's just some raw flour. Okay, so I'm gonna flip these back over. I'm gonna turn up the heat to high, not high, but medium high. Gonna take this off and let them continue cooking without it. The pan on top of them. Beautiful. I ate the little piece that was here, guys. I tried to show you it, but it was so hot. But. The texture and the taste is chicken. It's crazy. So we'll just finish letting this get nice and brown and crispy. And then we'll start on the sauce for the pasta. Okay, so here they are. Beautiful. We'll put them on a paper towel. It smells like chicken. Oh my god, it's amazing. Okay guys, so here I have about four tablespoons of olive oil. You can use vegan butter if you like. And here I have, um, I'm gonna put three tablespoons of flour. I'm just gonna mix this up until it turns into thick. Like a um, nice thick roux. Just gotta cook it until the flour, the flavor of the flour is gone. We may need to add a little more flour, which is okay. I'll add two more teaspoon tablespoons. I'm sorry, that was a tablespoon. Just keep adding until it starts getting thick. Normally I don't measure, I just pour it in and I'm pretty much right on target with it. But I'm trying to give you guys measurements. So, so now I, I believe it was uh, four tablespoons of olive oil. And now there's probably like maybe five tablespoons of flour in here. This is what we're looking for, guys. Okay, it's a cup and a half of plant-based milk. You can add any kind of plant-based milk that you like. It's gonna get thicker, so you're gonna have to add more milk to it. See how nice and thick it's turning? So let's just keep pouring this milk in until it gets to a nice, thin, like silky consistency.
put in about two teaspoons of salt. And I have this on low now, guys. A tablespoon of Italian seasoning. A teaspoon of onion powder. Dash of pepper. Onion powder. That's about a teaspoon. Mix that up. Add some nutritional yeast. Nice healthy handful of shredded vegan mozzarella cheese. Some grated parmesan. Vegan grated parmesan. Put about half a cup of peas in here. You don't have to add these if you don't want. Juice from half a lemon. Just gonna add a little more milk. And actually, you know what? I'm gonna add some pasta water to this. Because I have the water boiling now. Okay. See how silky? It looks silky, right? They are, uh, that's pretty. This is the texture you want. Guys, we could also do this with white beans. We don't have to use the flour. We don't have to do the roux. We could use this with white beans. I'll do that um, recipe next time if you guys want it. Want me to? I could do that. I could use a little more salt. So I'm gonna cover this up. Okay, so here I have some angel hair pasta. I'm not just gonna dump this into the into the sauce because there's a lot of sauce. Um, and quite honestly, this pasta is even too much for me. This is like two helpings here. The sauce, you could always freeze the sauce and use it another time for any leftovers. So the, the spaghetti, the angel hair pasta is al dente. This is going to continue to cook in here because I want to add the chicken, the, the mushrooms to the top on top of this and let some cheese melt on top of them. See this? This is going to need some pasta water too. This is also going to need pasta water. See how thick it gets because of the um, starch in the spaghetti. So with this, so it doesn't, we don't have little, tiny little pieces. We have nice size strands of uh, angel hair. Add a little water to this because it's thick. Just mix it up a tiny bit. Yeah, see it gets, it's looser now. these here. I'm just going to add just a little bit. Just a little. I'm going to cover that up. Basically let it steam. The pasta is al dente, so I don't have to worry about it getting overcooked. Okay guys, so here it is. That's our creamy lemon angel hair pasta. And that's our chicken cutlet which is actually 
uh, oyster mushroom, oyster, mu oyster mushroom cutlet, and put some salad with it, and sprinkled on a little parsley, and squeeze on a little extra lemon. It's amazing. How we can still have all the things that we used to have before going vegan without anyone causing any harm to anyone. It's all unnecessary when we can eat like this. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. Any comments, questions, I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. I love you guys and I appreciate you. Also, I forgot to wish you guys a happy Valentine's Day at the beginning of this video. I'm so sorry. A happy Valentine's Day. I hope you all enjoyed it. Whether you have a special significant other or you're just your special someone. It's all okay. I appreciate you guys who have been giving me love. You new subscribers. I appreciate it so much. People are still watching but not subscribing. Um, if you guys could just hit that subscribe button, I appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. I love you. Wow, look at that.